In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the quotient rule used in calculus. And I'm going to use this equation, and I'll discuss that more in detail. Here is the quotient rule, and I'm going to break it down piece by piece and explain it that way in some detail. I'm going to use the equation y is equal to x squared plus 1 divided by x cubed plus 1. I'm going to let x squared plus 1 equal to f of x and x cubed plus 1 equal to g of x. And wherever there's f of x, the blue f of x, I'm going to put x squared plus 1 in those two places. And wherever there's a g of x, I'm going to put x cubed plus 1. Now let me rewrite my notation, pull that down and the brackets down as well. And I'll put my x squared plus 1 divided by x cubed plus 1 in there. Using the quotient rule, this is going to be equal to x cubed plus 1 times the derivative of x squared plus 1 minus x squared plus 1 times the derivative of x cubed plus 1. That takes care of the numerator. For the denominator, I make a line or divide by g of x squared or x cubed plus 1 squared. I'm going to take two derivatives. So now I'm going to take x cubed plus 1 times the derivative of x squared plus 1. Using the power rule, x squared, the derivative of x squared is 2 times x to the first power, and the derivative of a constant is 0. Now I subtract x squared plus 1 times the derivative of x cubed plus 1. The derivative of x cubed is 3 times x squared, or 3x squared, and the derivative of a constant is 0. Divided by x cubed plus 1 squared. I'm going to take x cubed times 2 to the x to the first power which is going to give me 2 times x to the 4th power because I'll add those two exponents. Now I take 1 times 2 times x to the 1st power, which is 2 times x to the 1st power. I'll just drop that 0. Now I subtract this whole thing. I should put a little brackets around here for that. So now I take x squared times 3 times x squared. I add the exponents. So the exponent is going to be 4, and it's going to be 3 times x to the 4th power, and I'm going to subtract that. Now, I'm going to subtract the next thing, too. I'm going to take 1 times 3 times x squared, which gives me minus 3 times x squared. Then I'll drop the 0 again. Divided by x cubed plus 1 squared. I'm going to combine like terms now. 2 times x to the 4th and minus 3 times x to the 4th is equal to minus x to the 4th. Now I'll subtract 3 times x squared. Subtract that. I'll add 2 times x to the 1st power. And divide all this by x cubed plus 1 squared. And bada bing, there you have it. I would leave it in this form. I wouldn't try to simplify it any further because the algebra would get a little nasty. Share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. You'll find links to other problems using the quotient rule below. Subscribe, like the videos. Liking helps me. Help me help you.